Okay, in this problem we're going to look at how to find the mean and standard deviation of a probability distribution with a uh, discrete random variable. So this goes through everything, so let's just do it. First, we'll verify that it's a discrete probability distribution. So the discrete probability distribution has a sum of the probabilities that are 1. So if you take your calculator and add these up, they should equal 1 of the probability. And then we see that each probability is between 0 and 1 inclusive. Okay, so that's true. Now we draw the histogram. So we can either just draw this out ourselves or sketch it, or we can do stat crunch. And how we're going to find the graph and the mean and standard deviation is through stat crunch. So we can open this up. This time we're going to go to stat, calculators, and then down to custom. Because it doesn't have one for this. So we go to custom. The values are in the x for the variable. Variable is there. The probability values are over here. So those are the weights, what weight each, each uh, variable holds. Now we just click compute. Now it's not the nicest graph in the world, but it, you can see that you know 0 goes up to about 0.15, halfway between 0.1 and 0.2. There's 0.1 and 0.2. Okay, this one is smaller, this one a little larger, so you can match them up. It's probably just better to sketch it out, take one of these and sketch it out but that's the graph. Then we have the standard here and it's showing already the mean. The mean and standard deviation. So when I scroll down and it asks for the mean, it says compute and interpret the mean of the random variable x. The mean is 2.6 activities so round to one decimal place. Here I have 2.574 so 2.6 seven rounds up, right? All right, then which of the following inter interpretations of the mean is correct? Well, as the number of experiments of n increases, so the more we do them, the mean of the observations will approach the mean of the random variable. So the more you do the experiments, the closer you'll approach this mean of the random variable. Okay, so that's what that means. Now we'll move on to D, where it's a standard deviation. So that's pretty easy because, again, it's just sitting here. 1.3937, round to the nearest, what do they want here, um, one decimal place, so 1.4. 9 brings the 3 up. Now here's what's kind of nice. If you did it with Excel or did it you know, with a calculator, you're going to have to do a lot of computing or a lot of cells, um, adding up some other things. Here's the probability. They want, what is the probability of a that a randomly selected student has a parent involved in three activities. So exactly three. Well, the stat crunch allows you to choose that. I come down to here and say equal to three. I may have to click compute and it gives me 0.281. There it is. And then what is the probability that a randomly selected student has a parent involved in three or four activities? Well, so that means three inclusive or four. So I'll take greater than or equal to three and that will be this one and this one, they're highlighted red, three or four. Compute, 0.611. So this will let you um, find any probability uh, that you have here. If we want a less than or equal to, say, two, just type the two in and hit compute. It shows us these values. If you want an in between, you can switch this to the between up here and then do two and three. Compute. Or if you, you know, if you just did, I don't know if it'll allow you to do two and two. Yeah, it will. So you can do it that way for an equal to. So if we did our three, you should get the same answer. Okay. So if you need to exclude zero or something, you can do that. So the standard is there for any of the equals to, less than or greater than, or greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. And then in between, if you want, between two numbers. Okay. Pretty fast and easy. Hope that helps.